This is On Air with JT. Join JT, visionary and host for a 420 friendly improv and variety talk show. Featuring pop culture, news, interviews, debates and the home of the famous JT Rants. Here, mental health awareness is at the How's forefront. Going, with JT listening. on a mission We're to inspire and spread mental health awareness. Available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio and YouTube. You can stay up to date and get in touch by heading to onairwithjt.com. To contact the show directly or for business inquiries, Uh, use onairwithjt at gmail.com. You just got (laughs) JT. The one that you were drinking? Uh, Well, that I was drinking, not anymore. (laughs) Oh, God. What are you doing, kid? Uh, I have no idea. It's, uh, I guess uh, all this hard work and everything is starting to take a toll on me a little bit. (laughs) Safe to say. But, That's uh, why I asked you earlier, are you getting sleep? Huh? That's why I asked you earlier, are you getting sleep? Fuck no. Yeah, I don't think so. Always and grinding. I, and I know that's not good, especially, you know, with my mental health. Um, sleep is very, very important for everybody, but especially with mental health and, you know, the uh, different kinds of, you know, mental health disorders that I have. You know, sleep is very important, at least for me. If I if I don't get enough sleep, you know, phew, you don't want to see that side of JT. <laughs> yeah, it's not a good side for anybody when they don't get sleep. Yeah, seriously. Um, but yeah, thank you to everybody that has been showing so much love and support. Uh, you guys have no idea, or people just you have no idea like thank you and i know i say it all the time and and i always will say this you know whether i had you know one listener a thousand hundred thousand a million hundred million you know i'm always going to show my gratitude and how thankful and grateful that i am that there are people that support me support maddie and david and the show and take time out of their busy ass schedules and days and nights to again whether you watch or listen to the full episode half an episode a couple minutes a couple clips on social media from a recent episode whatever it might be you know thank you so fucking much like you have no idea how much that means to me and again, like I said before, I would I would be doing this podcast if nobody listened. But the fact that, you know, so much blood, sweat, tears, money, you know, years, talking over a decade, and to get to a point where I've achieved more than I have since I started when I was 16 and 2010 yes and again i know i've talked about this and i've taken hiatuses because um i just personally wasn't in a good mental space um but again you know it goes to show you you know and i know me and maddie were talking about it recently but you know if you look back and you listen or watch a lot of my episodes, almost every single one of season 13 last year when I came back from my hiatus in October, I said a lot of things that, you know, are happening now. Last year. It's crazy how many predictions you've made. It's wild. It's honestly wild. But again, yes, the law of attraction, manifestation, speaking things into existence is a very, very real, powerful thing. But here's the kicker. You got to work fucking hard and not half-ass it. You got to go all in. That's the fucking key. That is the key. I'm telling you. Um, of course, you know, you can always watch or uh, watch the full episodes or, 
little clips behind the scenes, some exclusive content on our YouTube channel. It's on air with JT. You can listen to the podcast, stream it on all major streaming platforms such as Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio. Just head over to onairwithjt.com. Uh, social media handles. Uh, well, the most active social media platform that I use is mainly Instagram, my personal one, which is Justin Thomas Insta. That's J U S. T-I-N-T-H-O-M-A-S-I-N-S-T-A. You can follow the show on Instagram at On Air with JT. YouTube, On Air with JT. And if you do have an account, I would greatly appreciate it if you could please subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date with any time I upload recent content. Uh, Twitter, On Air with JT. Facebook, On Air with JT. Facebook, Justin Thomas. Uh, Snapchat, Justin Thomas SC. TikTok, Justin Thomas TikTok. And I know... That is a lot of information. So all of the links to every platform, whether you want to watch or listen to the show or follow me on social media, it's all at onairwithjt.com. Uh, and of course, if you are a business owner, a brand or a company, and you are interested in advertising on this podcast, a potential uh, partnership, sponsorship, whatever it might be, please Serious inquiries only. Feel free to shoot me an email at onairwithjt at gmail.com. That's onairwithjt at gmail.com. And one more thing. I know I talk about this a lot, but I just want to say one more time. I know that a lot of people that do listen to the show, um, they listen to it on their iPhone with the Apple Podcast app. And if you are a fan and you like the show, you like the content, if you could do us one big favor, small favor, you know, it literally would take you less than 30 seconds. All you got to do is go to the Apple Podcast app, the Purple Podcast app on your iPhone, type in on your JT, click on it, scroll all the way down, and you can rate the show one out of five stars. Um, yeah. Um, I would greatly appreciate it. We would greatly appreciate it. And once again, everything, all the, everything that I just mentioned and all that is right over at onairwithjt.com. Maddie, where can people follow you and check out your awesome, uh, crazy, amazing, astonishing content? <laughs> well, first, first I want to tell them that they better go over there and rate you five stars or else. And uh, second, you can follow me uh, on Instagram at Madeline with two N. So it's M-A-D-A-L-Y-N-N underscore Haley, H-A-L-E-Y. I hope you can understand that with my New Jersey accent. Um, but on TikTok and YouTube, I am Lazy Eye 16 And Facebook, you can uh, just type in Madeline Haley Marquez. I have two pages. One's a business page. The other one uh, is a personal page, but they both have reels and content on it uh definitely crazy content not your typical you know things that you find on uh, you know on the reels i i have a lot more creativity i feel anyway yeah. um yeah but check me out definitely definitely go give her a follow uh maddie have do you know who the actress is unfortunately she passed away she was a very good actress um um Brittany murphy who is an eight mile Yes. Why, why why you seem like like a version of like Britney Murray? To me? In terms of personality kind of a little bit, yeah. That's that's the, that's the biggest compliment because I love her and I actually She was so she started, was so beautiful and such a great actress. Rest oh, in peace, yeah. like I was in love with her since that uh movie she did with Dakota Fanning when she was a little girl. Uh I I forget what it was called. It, it's that's uh brain fog right now. I'll blame it on COVID and weed. But Brittany Murphy was was so inspirational and that movie was was so cool too because I feel like it it almost kind of depicted what her real personality is. Um she she's just such a beautiful soul and I rest in peace. Yeah, definitely. She was she part of the twenty seven club? Uh -huh. I don't know. Um, I have to look and see. And my Wi Fi is being kind of wonky right now. So hopefully I can look and see. But if she was, that's fucking crazy. Yeah, I, I was just curious. But uh, you, you look that up while we uh, can continue this show. <laughs> um, yeah. One thing is pretty crazy. And like, 
I, I've never been like super into like astrology. Like you know, you know how the, there's some of the you know annoying people. No, that, he's that not. Like, oh my god! Like it, it, this said this today, so this is gonna happen. Oh my god! Like like no, like that. That's not how it works. Like yes, is astrology real and things like that? Of course, but like I've never been like a like a nerd about it. And I'm not like trying to put down people that are like really fascinated by it because it is a really cool thing to like look into and stuff like that. But I just never like, I don't know, like been that fascinated by it, um, which is ironic because I'm fascinated by so many similar other things that are kind of like in that kind of realm. But long story short, you know, I found out that basically on march 23rd of this year so march 23rd of 2023 um, pluto is transitioning into aquarius and that hasn't happened for a long time um and you know long story short you know it's staying in Aquarius Pluto for I believe like six or seven months to give us like a glimpse of what our lives are going to be like for the next 20 years because Pluto comes back to Aquarius on November 11th 2024 and stays for good for 20 years so and it's so crazy because that made so much sense in my life you know, looking back 20 years ago where I was and then how my life is playing out now, it makes so much sense. And, you know, I called my grandmother and, you know, before I even mentioned a word, because, you know, she's super religious. And I was like, you know, uh, before I even brought up a word about this, she said, all good things come in threes. And like, it's March 23rd, 2023, <laughs> which is three I'm threes. So and then also, I've three, heard that also, before. also three twos, which is my lucky number, angel, angel numbers that I've been seeing for years. So it's fucking pretty crazy. Um, yeah, honestly. I mean, I, I think that I've heard you, we, the saying your grandma said that I think I've heard the opposite. I, I, me too. Me too. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, that's that's funny though because I think my mom used to say something like that growing up, but I I, I you know what it also is on on March twenty third. What? It's it's National Chip and Dip Day. March twenty third, but that's not twenty twenty three, and it, but it's also. I, I wish I wish I I could have a producer right now to just play like a sound effect of crickets. <laughs> Okay, it's also <laughs> World Meteorology. Oh, man, I fucked it up. I didn't, I couldn't even say it right. Ah, uh, you have one chance. You have one job. <laughs> Maddie out. <laughs> Maddie out. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, that's so funny. Um, you know, speaking of that kind of, um, you know, I I do want to say one thing. You know, yes, I've been. I consider myself an OG, quote unquote, in terms of the podcasting game. But yes, I've taken so many hiatuses and, you know, haven't been consistent for the full, you know, 13 plus years. But and I never considered myself a master, even though I've done well over 10,000 hours. But, you know, th there's there's a lot of things that I need to work on. Um, and I think a lot more people need to take more self accountability um regardless of who you are who you think you are how talented you might be how smart you might be whatever it might be because we all have room to improve you know uh and that that's a prime example like i know that i say you know a lot and that's something that i'm trying to fix i'm trying to i'm trying to stop that uh and like the ums and the ands like that gotta go like especially like if i really want a full you know if i really want to like continue to keep elevating and even make it to like even like mainstream if i ever wanted to do something like that you know i i have to get better at that and that is something that i'm trying to work on and i will master that uh that that's not a concern of mine at all 
but I do want to address that, like, yes, I know, you know, I'm not the best broadcaster. I know that I do say, you know, and, and, and all that a lot. I know that. And that's something that I'm currently working on. Uh, but again, you know, it's not always easy uh, when, when you have ADHD and like anxiety and all this stuff on top of doing a show. You know, your mind is just literally all over the place. So it, it's something it, it's a struggle that I'm trying to, you know, work on and master, which I will. But uh, just bear with me, <laughs> please. Yeah, I, I'm I'm like, the um like Mike girl. Posner, baby, please don't go. <laughs> oh man, I feel like it. It's gonna take work for me to stop saying um so much. I realized like a couple of reels, I'd be like um um um, and like why don't I just edit it out? It's a reel. Like what's wrong with me? I don't understand. But it's it's even more pressure when you are so nervous before like recording and you put all this pressure on yourself so that's why you you have the nerves and even though you smoke a bunch of weed you still got the nerves and yeah i I guess it's just repetition and and practicing Uh, i'm sorry if you hear this in the background there's some some alarm going off the fuck i it sounded like a cat like getting fucking ripped into 30 pieces jeez it's an Some alarm. Jeffrey Donner shit. Donner shit. Like, what the uh, fuck? I'm like, is my what place on fire? <laughs> I don't fuck? know what's going on. Um, uh, if, that, if that happens again, I'm going to have to get up and check on it. But, um, but yeah, I, I know I, I got a lot of things to work on. You know, sometimes I even, like, stutter and things like that. But you, gotta, you guys also got to keep in mind that, you know, I do also have two learning disabilities on top of my mental health, you know. And I'm not trying to, like... I don't want sympathy or anything like that, but like it, it's something I'm trying to master. You know, it's not, you know, I have a, I have kind of, of a disadvantage in a way. Uh, but I feel like we all gave Drew Lynch a chance and like he has some things wrong and it, stuttering and saying, um, and you know, isn't something to like beat yourself up over at all. Um, and it's, it, I didn't even think that it was even, worth mentioning that you know uh, but if you feel like that strongly about it, i see why you're saying something oh, yeah, but because in, I mean, in I, my I, opinion oh go ahead go ahead in my opinion uh I, it's you know you're talking about recent podcasts or, or interviews or whatever but it, it's just nerves and and with time it'll get it'll get bigger i mean it'll get better because you're, you're getting bigger and bigger and you're you're gonna have you're gonna get over it like this yeah, is your dream I, and thank you. I appreciate it. And it's just crazy that you said that because I mentioned on the podcast, you know, I reached out to a famous radio personality who also hosted s- some TV shows on some music networks that are famous. Um, and he hosted a show in Boston when I was growing up and we even talked before. And, you know, as I, as I started making a lot of progress last year and into this year, you know, I just messaged, messaged him very politely, like, hey, I just had a quick question. You know, I, I'm starting to interview more successful people and, you know, the nerves starting to increase a little bit. Do you have any suggestions or advice on when, like, how, if you felt the same way when you were, like, starting off? And he just left me on red, which is fine. That's, that's totally okay. <laughs> oh, God. Because, because, you know, I, I, no hard feelings, but I definitely will set, you know, include the name in my book um it's only right um but it's just sad that you know even someone like that i don't know if he, if it's like intimidate he's intimidated but i don't know if that's the right word because obviously in terms of like radio success and like media he's accomplished more as of right now but i don't know it, it's very bizarre it's very bizarre <laughs> I don't know. I feel like there's always somebody that that has power like that or, or any type of say so in the industry that has you don't have you know, that much power, though. But what, what I'm saying is like they have somebody already in mind that if they were going to help somebody with something, it would probably be a closer friend or family member. Like that's just how people are like it, it's all it's all connected and, and intertwined. You know what I mean? Like they're going to take family and friends first and 
if there's room that in the end maybe for for somebody else but normally people are going to help out their friends first yeah no i 100 percent agree um you know w- one thing i do want to say and this is one of uh one quote that i came up with the other day and this is i honestly believe this you know if you aren't failing and making mistakes you're just not innovating enough you know Every time you fail and mess up, you can collect a piece of that puzzle. And then there will, there will be become a day where all those pieces of those puzzles will fit together. But it will only happen with the strength of perseverance. So once again, if you aren't failing and making mistakes, you aren't innovating enough. Every time you fail or mess up, you can collect a piece of to the puzzle. There will become a day when all of those pieces fully complete, fully connect. I'm sorry. Let me, I can't even say my own quote. How embarrassing. Let's go back. Reverse. If you aren't, <laughs> I'm definitely going to say Blooper, blooper, blooper. No, so I want to, I want to get this right because I want to put this into a reel. That's why. If you aren't failing or making mistakes, you are just not innovating enough. Every time you fail or mess up, you can collect a piece to the puzzle. There will become a day when all of those pieces fully connect to complete the puzzle, but it it can only be achieved with the strength of perseverance. And I honestly, truly believe that. Yeah, you always, you know, if you got to pick yourself up and try again, you know? It's like the best best songs from, what, like the 90s or is it the 2000s? I believe late 90s, early 2000s, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, you, you know one thing that, yeah, I swear, if I won the lottery, you know what's one of the first things I would fucking buy or, or like, figure out how to bring back? What? What would it be? Sour Altoids. Oh shit! I used to put my weed in those in in middle school. Well, no, that was that was high school. I, I wasn't in school. No, it was, it was when I was adult. Except for they weren't out. Those but. sour Altoids, the tangerine, the lemon, ah, uh, the the mix was like a mixed berry or something. Oh my god. <sighs> I fucking love those sour Altoids. They need to bring those shits back. I miss all the '90s candy, like like the zebra gum. It doesn't taste the same. They came back out with it. And oh yeah, it what? And it lasts like fucking. It lasts three seconds. It lasts. It lasts. It it, it lasts as much as like a fucking you know virgin having sex for the first time. That gum. <laughs> oh god. Oh my god. What, what's the name of the gum? Z- the zebra gum. Yeah, li- literally the zebra gum. Yo, do you remember when, when you when, when you when you eat that? Yeah, even that when you eat that shit. Literally, you know, it it lasts it it lasts a little bit longer than a, a virgin, or may- maybe even the other way around. <laughs> you get like four twos, and that's it. Yeah, four. That's four it. Consecutive- that's it. And it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Boom. That reminds me. It reminds me of like the Tootsie, the Tootsie Roll commercial, Tootsie Pop commercial. Oh, how many I'll licks? A two. <laughs> you little perverted fuck. Oh, uh, what? <laughs> not, not you. I'm saying the, the creator. How many licks till it get to it? Oh. Uh, Tootsie Pop. Oh, my God. Uh, that shit was my favorite. I love that commercial. I don't know why. Oh, man. Even just like the blockbuster days, like. I just have so many like memories of going into Blockbuster, just try, like looking at all the different movies on the wall and picking one, and then all the candy section. You know, I, I miss the Blockbuster days. Yeah, I just went into Fantasy World, but did you know that there's one left and, and it's in Alaska? Mm-hmm. What the fuck? Yo, there, there is a Blockbuster sign in Philly. Like, it, it's one of those big, th- th- there's not a Blockbuster there, but the sign is still there. I have a picture of it. I swear to God, I'm going to send it to you. I, I, I don't know this. I'm probably like fucking up some of the facts, but either Blockbuster had the opportunity to buy Netflix, like 
before Netflix really blew up or it was something like Blockbuster had an opportunity to like, like do something and they, they did it and that's where they fucked up. And because, because people don't understand, like Netflix started in like 96 or 97, like Netflix has been around. Like it, it, like it, it was just you would have to order and get it in the mail, and you know. But once it, you know, started on like a streaming service, that just you know totally revolutionized, you know, streaming and, and watching stuff. But um, yeah, like Netflix was a you know around for over a decade before they really blew blew the fuck up. Well, I mean, kids these days don't even know about when you used to have to send it in. Remember, like when you'd have to like fill out a form and then and then you'd you'd like it come in the mail. I, I honestly never used Netflix when I was younger. When that was like around, I didn't do it. I I my my parents never did that for me. But <laughs> I, I'm just saying. But my <laughs> no, but th yeah, like there's. There's more to Netflix that, that these kids these days don't know about. It wasn't always a fucking app. Yeah, just definitely. Um, you know, one, one thing I, I, I got to say. People still use Redbox, don't they? Uh, yeah, I think the last time I used it was like three years ago. But yeah, um, one thing I do, <laughs> one thing I do got to say, and I don't want to get into it too much. You know, as a fellow broadcaster and, you know, I actually really liked, you know, and and appreciate Angelie's work as a broadcaster, radio personality, you know, etc. But my question is, Angelie, where was all this energy when you were collecting those checks from iHeartRadio for the Breakfast Club? That that three million dollar plus a year annually check, which obviously just because of that platform gave you so many opportunities to make to do gigs, walkthroughs, companies, books, you know, other deals, etc. You know, so you're definitely making, you know, you know, and we're being conservative, you know, five, six million a year. Probably some years you even made close to ten million. And and if all these things were happening, why didn't you speak up then? Why is it after the fact that you leave the Breakfast Club now you want to speak up? That's where I have a problem. Because if you had a problem or some issues, you should have spoke up and, and and addressed the issue and made it. If you wanted to make it public, you should have done it when you were doing that and collecting the checks. But now that your income has got cut in half, probably even more than that, um, am I saying that you're broke or anything? No, you definitely like earned everything and you worked hard for it. But where was all this energy when you were getting those those checks from iHeartRadio and you know making all that money? That that's my question. You know, I don't even know like, what's going on with her. I'm like I'm like sitting here trying to see see exactly what's going on with the Breakfast Club. What happened? She was she's complaining about an, an amount of money that she was making or something. She's she's talking about a lot of di different things. I don't even want to get into it. It's just so stupid. <laughs> it's just so dumb. It's just and this is just this is just this this is just a pure example of how she knows she fucked up. The fact that she has to go on this whole thing about like make make you know making all the blogs about you know bringing up all these things just to stay relevant because she lost so much relevancy and money from leaving the breakfast club and, and all this shit. So now she has to do these kinds of marketing tactics and ploys to have all the tabloids and, and blogs and all this shit talk about what's going on. It's crazy. It's I don't know. It's it seems like just probably wants publicity or, or something like that or more than she already has. Yeah. And I don't, I definitely don't want to take any of the, anything away from them because I mean, if we're, if we're being honest, when it comes to radio, nobody in the last 20 years, 15, 20 years, has accomplished what The Breakfast Club has done. You know, with Envy, Charlemagne, Angela Yee, and, you know, all the, the producers, the team behind the scenes, like, they created something very special and that was very big to the culture. 
and I don't think people fully can, con- you know, some people fully comprehend how significant the Breakfast Club is and was to the culture at one point and till this day, and the impact, you know, because it's so hard to have a popular radio show, you know, nowadays, five years ago, 10 years ago, and then be nationally syndicated all over the country and everything. And, and, and they were killing it. They're, they're, they're killing it. And um, it's not an easy thing to do because radio is, is dead. So, I mean, yes, it does help that they they were in New York City and, you know, they, they got obviously syndicated to most major markets and big cities in the country. Um, but still, um, you got to give credit where credit is due and got to give flowers and roses where they're due. You know, that, that's, how I, that's how I think about it. Room for somebody else yeah. to come. Well, yeah, I mean, radio's radio's dead. Um, Maybe not in radio, but I mean, everyone is. No one's gonna forget about the Breakfast Club ever. So even if it does, nobody's gonna forget about Howard Stern. Nobody's gonna forget about Opie and Anthony. Nobody's gonna forget about the Breakfast Club. Nobody's gonna forget about um, Ryan Seacrest. You know, on it with Ryan Seacrest or the Countdown with Ryan Seacrest and things like that. Um, They're all legends. But at the end of the day, I mean. The, the GOAT is, in terms of radio and broadcasting success, is obviously Seacrest. Of course. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, even in, like, the, you know, Pitbull, Give Me Everything with Neo song, he's like, um, I'm trying to get money like Seacrest. <laughs> <laughs> um, I can't wait to, like, hear my name being, like, shout out in, like, a rap song one day. Like, that, that show be so fucking cool. It already is, but they're just not talking about oh, you. Oh, yeah, yeah, like working me, working me. She working me. Call the bugs, JT, JT. <laughs> and with, you know, with me, you know, my Kanye, my Kanye ass, you know, thinking, and I'm like, yeah, that's me, that's me. <laughs> nah, that ain't you, Jay. <laughs> Ron, 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 Ron JT. <laughs> yeah, people getting you confused with a bunch of people. Yes. Me? Yeah, <laughs> Yo, it's crazy the amount of people that I've been compared to, like what I look like, like celebrity lookalikes. Like, it, it, some of them are like, I'm like, okay, I can see that a little bit, and some of them are very disrespectful. I take it. <laughs> like, you know, <laughs> don't you hate that when somebody says like, "Oh, you look like this person," they're like, "Oh, that person's ugly." You're like, yeah. oh shit. Like, do you, just, do you have do you have uh, is the internet working on your phone right now? Yeah, yeah. Look up, look up, type in Google Images, young Andy Garcia. And you know what I look like with when I had long hair. Tell me, <laughs> I, like, that's the probably the most, people say that the most, that I look like a, a young Andy Garcia. <laughs> I, oh, my God. Right? I, I, I can really see it. Like, you... When, when, oh, when yep. I grow my hair out, I, I can look. Oh like... my! <laughs> I gotta make this a meme now. Uh, that's that's great. Okay, now I'm gonna give you another one to look up. So another one is Brad Marshan. It's Brad M A R C H A N D. He plays for the Boston Bruins. He's a hockey player. Whoa! Holy shit! Yeah, you look a lot like him. Just he has a longer face. Yeah, but I'm, and... I'm definitely better looking than him. Um, but definitely not as talented on, on the ice. Um, another one, uh, obviously Vinny from the Jersey Shore. I've, I've been getting that since. Really? Know, even when I was yeah, younger. Yeah. Especially when I have my hair short. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about that one. That one, I don't, I don't see. But, <laughs> but I think you guys are very different. And he has more of an egghead than you do. Well, that makes you feel a little bit better. Yeah, well, Vin- Vinny's like probably the nicest one out of all of them. Yeah. I feel like, but you then know, someone, then someone tried to compare me to fucking. They said I look like Adam Driver. I'm like, all right. I mean, yes, Adam Driver is a good looking guy, but t- come on, don't compare. Me to, like, I don't look. I don't look like Adam Driver even when I had long hair. Nah, that's a that's that's a reach. That's no. <laughs> But even if you look up like a young like Al Pacino, like I or, like I kind of look like I I can, it's a little bit like, but definitely Andy Garcia is probably the most accurate. 
Yeah, Andy Garcia. That that one definitely. I, I I took a screen cap of it. It's it's gonna be a meme to to follow this uh, podcast today. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Uh, you know what's one show? I don't know if you've ever seen it, but like, uh, have you ever heard of the show called Cold Case that used to be on? Of course, part of Cold Case. It was, that was such a good fucking show. People don't even, like, talk about it. Like, Cold Case was, like, so ahead of its time also, how they would do, like, the flashbacks of, like, back in the day when they did the crime and stuff like that. Like, it's a really good show. I know it's random, but, like, I just had to say that. Well, it's, you know, the cool part about it, it's based in Philly, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, there's a lot of things based in Philly. I mean, obviously, the most probably notorious is Rocky. Uh, yeah, I I can't. I said when my ankle gets better, I'm gonna run up those steps. Yeah, I want to do that when I when I come out to over there. Yeah, if the listeners don't know, I'm 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 like from the Philadelphia area. I got to see it when I was there. Um, you didn't go up it? No, I was too fat. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, was I was too fat. out of shape. <laughs> There's way too many cameras out, oh, over here. <laughs> I ain't trying to be on World Star. Uh, out of, oh, sh- out of shape man try, tries to do the Rocky. I'm like, nah. That is, I, I, I'm always so afraid I'm going to get on the World Star one day mm-hmm. for the wrong thing. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm afraid for that for you as well. <laughs> Yo, that don't say that. Um, and, and being out here in Philly, anything is possible. Anything is possible, definitely, for sure. It was it was way more low key in in, in Florida, Palm Coast, Florida. Oh man, nothing fun happens out there. Yeah, it's um the land of the dead. <laughs> for sure. Oh man, did you did you see any update on that on that uh, case we were talking about in Mantanzas High School? I have not looked up any recent uh, research on that. Um, yeah, there's there's literally nothing. We probably won't hear anything for like six months. Yeah, it, it's pretty crazy. Um, I know I said this on the a uh, uh, couple of days ago, but I got to just say it one more time. Like, is, is it me or or does Gene Simmons really have like his ego is like higher than Orlando Brown's like viral? fucked up interviews like like seriously like like james blunt i'm beautiful like i was fucking high hey man i feel like if you wear if you wear face paint for that long you have some type of ego i, I don't know <laughs> i mean I, I know it's an alter ego it's it's a uh, it is an alter it's a it's an alter ego it's a it's a persona Tonight. It's it's kind of weird, like, uh, to have an alter ego that the seventy five percent of the time has their tongue out. Like, he probably has a lot in common with that period, uh, girl. Yeah. You know, period, eh? Are you doing the cricket thing again? I hate when you do that to me. The cricket thing? Yeah, crickets where you don't say anything. This long ass pause. Oh, I just do that intentionally to piss you off. You know, that's, that's normal. That's normal. No, I'm just with you. <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> um, I do want to say, though, uh, before we continue the show, you know, I did give some shout outs to these brands, but I do want to do it one, one more time on the podcast. Um, they are not, uh, at the time, official like sponsorships or like sponsors of the show, but they did hook your boy JT up and hook uh, Maddie up and all of us um, with some amazing care packages and products. So definitely one of the first ones is Hemful. Um, they really hooked it up. You know, they sent me CBD uh, tape. They sent me CBD oil, gummies. They sent me 400 milligram CBD oil. Uh, this one is Wow, over a thousand milligrams of CBD oil. Definitely using that tonight. Um, they really hooked it up. So thank you so much. Thank you to 
Hemful for hooking your boy JT up, showing love. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Go check them out. Hempful. They have really good products. And I ha- did use some of their products last night. And it's JT certified approved. Um, another, <laughs> <laughs> you like that, right? Yeah. Uh, another one is I, uh, I got to give a huge shout out to Meta Hemp. Meta Hemp, man, they hooked it up. They sent me, you know, tropical, topical cream, 3,000 milligram cannabinoids, two ounces, uh, hemp extract, you know, pen. They sent me CBD sauce and diamonds, 750 milligrams. Uh, they, they really hooked it up. So thank you so much to Meta Hemp. That's Meta Hemp. Um, and you can, they're in Denver, Colorado. Um, you can, if you want to get in contact with them, info at metahemp.com and, uh, yeah, check them out. Uh, they also sent, uh, a few other things. Let's see what we have. There's so much stuff. (laughs) So thank you so much to everybody that's showing love and everything. Like I really appreciate it. Um, we really appreciate it. Um, Shout out to Bud Love, Bud Love, and that is BudLove.com, the premium herbal and mixer that makes Bud better. Welcome to Bud Love. That's BudLove.com. They hooked your boy JT up with a uh, a rolling tray, um, a little compartment to roll, to put some blunts or weed or roaches, whatever. Um, and, and so many different types of, you know, premium herbal mixers, um, literally different types of flavors. Uh, so thank you so much. I, I really appreciate it. Bud Love, thank you so much. Um, thank you. I, I really appreciate it. Um, and of course, uh, I do want to say Hempful also includes like some treats um, and things like that. Uh, so go check them out as well. Um, another brand that hooked your boy JT up. Let's pull the box up. I feel like a little kid on Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> so shout out. Well, let's see what they wrote. Hello, Justin. We are so excited to be hooking you up with our favorite products from Chill Medicated and C- Covert Cups. Let us know what's your fave. We look forward to a partnership and moving forward. Chill Medicated Socials. If you want to check them out, uh, Chill Medicated, Chill Medicated CBD, at chillmedicated.ma. Covert Cups Socials is at Covert Cups, and then at Covert underscore, un- underscore Cups. Thank you so much to Chill Medicated and Covert Cups for giving me a amazing care package. You know, they, they really hooked it up. They sent me some amazing, uh, these mini cup, you know, cannabis infused uh, like uh, edibles and they're a thousand milligrams and they're so good. Mm. They, they yeah. taste good and, and like, Honestly, like I, I already went through like three of them already. <laughs> I, uh, I, I love them. Like I'm, I'm not even just saying that. Like I hon- honestly love them. Like you definitely need to go check them out. Um, and, you know, Chill Medicated, you know, you can definitely go follow them on, you know, Instagram, Facebook, you know, everything is at, at Chill Medicated. They sent me a bunch of T-shirts uh, some CBD infused syrup. I feel like future over here. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Gasoline. No, I'm just <laughs> man. I'm, we're getting so much love, you know. Also, shout out to Koala Puffs. You know, Koala Puffs. They sent me, you know, all these amazing products. And if you guys obviously are listening, you can't see it. But if you're watching, you can see some of the amazing products that they sent. They sent me, you know, a bowl, some pipes, a cone case, some pipe cleaner, some wraps, um, a grinder, um, a bong, 
like thank you so much to koala puffs i really appreciate it you guys are awesome um, all of these brands thank you so much um, actually there is one more brand that did send me a care package and i want to make sure that i talk about it because they really hooked it up um, so I just want to make sure I have all the information here. So shout out to the Bitchin' Sauce. They hooked your boy JT up with so many different kinds of sauces and spreads and dips. Like they, they, they sent me like 25 different like ones. Like thank you so much to Bitchin' Sauce. And I've already tried like three or four different types of flavors and they're just really good. I tried it with like pita bread and things like that. So fucking good. So good. So thank you so much to Bitchin' Sauce. And, you know, it's so good. The Bitchin' Sauce, like, if you, you know, go without it, and get, you'll have withdrawal, you know, symptoms, and you'll be, like, bitching. <laughs> you know, so it's really Bitchin' Sauce. So definitely go check them out. <laughs> that was good. I think, was I, good. I, th I think they'll like that. <laughs> Bitch it. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, that's funny. Um, again, if you are a business owner or a brand or a company and you are interested in advertising on this podcast, uh, the new podcast launching with Maddie very soon, this, the Mental Health Awareness Weekly Podcast, several other, other podcasts, including my social media marketing and ma management agency along with my podcast media network that is in a conjunction addition to my online 24 7 radio station network that's going to play all of the uh, podcasts and shows and interviews that are done by me or other shows that are done by me or other hosts that are under my network. It's just going to be a really cool thing. And there's just so many other projects in the works. We have the app. We have two web websites in the works. We have, I have like two or three other business concepts and ideas. Um, a couple media like apps and websites and platforms that are, you know, starting to be developed so there's a lot of things in the works on top of the acting um you know the, it's just a non-stop grind so if you are interested in advertising on this podcast send me an email at on air with jt at gmail.com once again that's on air with jt at gmail.com and again, you can watch the show on YouTube, On Air with JT, listen to it on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio. Everything is at On Air with JT, including my social media accounts where you can follow me, um, uh, all that, or where you can lis listen or watch the show. Everything is at On Air with JT.com. Maddie, where can people follow you again? Uh, you can follow me on Facebook, um, Madeline Haley Marquez, M-A-D-A-L-Y-N-H-A-L-E-Y-M-A-R-Q-U-E-Z. And on TikTok and YouTube, I'm LazyEye16. And um, Instagram, I'm Madeline with two M's underscore Haley. Um, I make cool reels and post content about my life. A lot of it's about mental health, um, but I also do just have fun. Uh, I'm going to start posting more stuff about music. I play the piano and I, I sing a little bit. Um, yeah. So check me out. Definitely. Definitely go give her a follow. Um, I know today's show is not going to be as long as previous shows, but uh, there's just a lot of work I got to do behind the scenes. I got a few business calls and uh, just a lot of, a lot of work. I still got like probably like nine or 10 hours of work to do on top of the five hours that it's going to take just to get this podcast up and running. So um, it's going to be a long, busy night, but I'm ready for it. And um, yeah, when we come back for the next episode, it's going to be <laughs> so crazy. Like you guys aren't even going to like, you're going to be like, this is the same show. Like just, <laughs> just, just wait, just wait. Uh, anything you want to say, Maddie, before we wrap it up? Uh, no, just you know, stay positive and uh, don't be a bully. 
Um, there's a lot of bullying going on right now in the world and on social media. I don't even need to say it because I don't want to bring light to their names, but just be nice to people and be kind. Exactly. You never know what someone's going through. You, you know, everyone's facing a battle that you have no idea about. So always just try to be kind and, and be a good person and, and try and help others. Um, thank you again to everybody for showing love, support. Everything is at onairwithjt.com. And the next show is going to be something special. You already know. Have a great day. The motherfucking JT way. JT out. Yes, sir. <laughs> Maddie out. <laughs> <laughs>